What's up everybody? Blue Gabe here. We're in Yampa, Colorado for the 2019 archery elk season. It starts tomorrow morning. Y'all stay tuned because I'm going to just go straight into it. I'm not going to do any intro prior to my hunt. Literally, you're just going to see what I'm seeing as I see it and however it unfolds is how it's going to unfold. We'll see y'all soon. Second day of season 2019, I smoked him. There was two of them coming. Sam, the boy that we hunt with, this is his grandpa's ranch. Robert, dear meat for dinner, my brother, give me a new bow, a new bow tech bow to bring him. He just texted me and smoked a good one. I'm sitting here, I look up and here they come, but they weren't coming from where I was supposed where they were supposed to. I got the camera ready to I thought I shot him back a little bit. I made a second shot, didn't need it though. The first shot, he was done. 2019 Archery Elk, Colorado. Bam! I heard him pile up right there. It's getting dark, we had five minutes of daylight left, maybe. Running out of camera light, I just got it done. Self film, Archery, Colorado. Bam! He's not the biggest bull in the world, but you know what, he's a big mature. Five by five, I think he is done dealing. Now we got two elk to drag out. That's my seven-year-old Matthews bow. I killed my two biggest white tails, my two elk with it. <laughs> Smoked him. We got Hurricane Doreen right now bearing down on Florida. Prayers for everybody in the Bahamas who just got destroyed as we speak. I'm here, you know, bow hunting in Colorado and they're getting destroyed by a hurricane. We're praying to God it doesn't hit Florida, but by the time y'all have seen this, you know, we'll already know if it did or didn't. I might not even have a house to come home to. But you know what? We'll rebuild. You know, that's all you can do is rebuild. You know, God gave the ultimate sacrifice. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That means He gave His only Son to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins. And if that doesn't make you want to be a Christian, I don't know what to tell you. But to me, that's what gives me hope and strength and faith. You guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to get down, back out of here. I know he's dead. I heard him fall, but just do the right thing. Go get Sam's bull out. Come back and get my bull out. All right, y'all, the cavalry has arrived. All I've done is went over and checked my arrow. Blood all over it. We're going to get my bow, get my bag, but we're going to leave this stand here. This waller that I'm going to tell you all about, you know, later on tomorrow during the daylight was just an epic situation. But James is going to come back here and hunt until he gets one too. We got Mac here to help us. We're ready to go find him, y'all. All right, my arrows, my arrows right here. But in no way, shape, or form am I worried because I know I heard him fall about 40 yards from here. We're going to look for blood for a second, but I know right where he's laying. Look at this, sir. Uh, come here. Not a ton of blood because I shot him a little far back, but I hit him with a follow-up shot with a two-blade rage. He didn't tote that very far, y'all. We ain't even gonna try to blood trail him. Let's just go to where I heard him last. All right, y'all, we just found him. Ooh. Hey, this joker. Ugh. Yeah, grab that, Mac. Get over here, Mac. You've hunted with me a bunch. Y'all, I've been coming to this ranch for like seven years. I met Mac McLean. How long have you been coming here? So I started hunting 
We've hunted together off and on throughout the years. He just got here today. We've been hunting. This is the second day of season. Just piled up a nice. He's only a four by four, but dang, he's got base. He's got width. He's got tines. But like any of y'all who've ever elk hunted know, the work has just begun. <laughs> Mac and James, who's behind the camera. James is who came with me. James Lassiter. They drove the four wheeler. They're, they've got it about 300 yards from here. So we're gonna have to get the saws out and cut our way to him. That shot you see looks like a bad shot, but it's a quartering shot. He only went, what are we, 70 yards from the tree, 80 yards? Why do they gotta be so big? Can you think you can throw, throw him over your shoulders? Oh yeah, no problem. I don't know if y'all can <laughs> see us or not, but it's in the middle of the night. We're gonna start the process and I'm gonna try to show you all as much of this as I can, but I'll show you him again in the morning in the daylight. We out. y'all down the mountain all right y'all we're back to the house here he comes god i'm glad i didn't have to drag that bad boy back all right y'all i thought we were going to wait till tomorrow to clean him but we can't it's not near cold enough to let him sit all night we have a little walk-in cooler but it's not big enough to hold both of them we have sam and my bull here i'm going to show y'all just a little bit of cleaning them i don't want the video to get demonetized and i can't i can't make enough good footage to make a whole nother just cleaning video because it's dark and dusty and we're doing it with this tractor so i'm going to show you all a little bit of this then we'll see you in the morning so he's over there just taking the hide off hanging up we're going to quarter it out put it in the walk-in cooler they're starting to process over here i was doing it but i got to film so i got to stand over here where there's a little bit of light to be able to even talk That's the most important part, the heart. That's what I want. All right, y'all. That was a long night. Good Lord. We worked till 2.30 in the morning to get those two elk cleaned. And I also didn't want to make a second video of cleaning it just because, I mean, these guys are working here. The people that own this ranch are working. I'm beyond thankful that they took the time to come down and help me get that elk out. So for them helping me was way more important than me getting a cleaning video. But with that being said, in this cooler right here is two elk. We've got them quartered up. I'm going to put this GoPro on the post, get one out, cut the tenderloin out. Some people call the back strap. Some people call the tenderloin. Taking it back to the house and cooking a big dinner for everybody. They're all out there in the field working. I'm going to be cooking elk, y'all. Elk back strap. Let me show y'all what's in this cooler. McLean, the boy that came up there and got my elk, built this cooler, homemade it. And it is so nice. Y'all look at this. Look at that. That's just a hind quarter. Just a hind quarter. There's a front shoulder laying there. That's a hind quarter. Two full grown elk. Tell me that ain't nice. It's heavy. <laughs> that hind quarter weighs more than our Florida whitetails do alone. For any of y'all that might be watching this that elk hunt and do do-it-yourself backpack hunts, y'all are real men. If I had to carry this ham out of that mountain for more than 100 yards, I'd have to call the ambulance. All right, so this is the ham. This whole rear end's the ham, and this little section right here is what us Florida boys call the back straps. This is the ham. I'm gonna go through here eventually and debone it and cut all the muscles up in sections, and bring that home with me. But for tonight, get away from me, B. We're eating this right here. And no, I don't have my silver stag. I got a little steak knife. 
but it'll work. I came from a dad who raised me, you use what you got. You don't always have to go buy something new. You don't have to have big fancy material. This is literally a steak knife. I sharpened it on the window of the rental truck. That's what we're using. Come in right beside the backbone. And you just start peeling it up, sort of like flaying a fish. If y'all are wondering where James is, he's out in the, he's out deer hunt or elk hunting right now. Look at that. That's a chunk of back strap. It's going on the grill. All right, so off this, this little 12 inch section, I got this huge chunk of back strap and this big hanging loin. This is the inner loin, this is the outer loin. Tonight we're cooking these two. Then I'm gonna cut and bone out this ham, take it all back to Florida with me. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, y'all. I literally was putting the elk steaks on the grill. Thank God I didn't set them on the grill yet because James just called me. He's got a bull down and he said he got it all on film. So y'all are going to get to see it. Now we got a long ride up the mountain and probably a hard night ahead of us getting him out, but y'all are going to follow along. <laughs> you guys we killed our bulls out of the same tree videoed it with the same camera bam bam thank you ma'am tell me he's walking in the same spot as mine no nah, no nah, i had the camera facing there i had to turn it dude he came out i didn't even hear him right underneath i told you they're quiet look at him i was trying to get the camera focused on him Oh, he came from behind you. Yeah, that's where we walked in too, man. <laughs> so he's kind of quartering here and I put it a little further back. Oh! And then watch, he runs up on that same knoll as yours did, did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> watch, I zoomed in on him though. Right there, he's just pumping blood right there. Oh, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's toast. He would have died right there if you didn't shoot him again. He's yeah. right where my bull is. Yeah, no, he's, he's up a little bit more. He run down here. And then I stopped. And then uh, he stopped. He's dead. He ain't going nowhere. He's toast. So he's now we got to go. You know what it's going to take to get him out of there. He's in some stuff. <laughs> he went that way. I meant to say east earlier, but yeah. He, he went, went farther than mine did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched him farther than yours did, then I lost sight of him. But I'm pretty sure I heard him crash. So. Well, I hate to tell you, but it's just me, you, and Ann to get him out. Where are they all at? They're working. <laughs> they said they ain't got time to come help us. Y'all see these? These are wallers. The elk. Excuse us breathing hard. The elk come in here and roll in this mud. I've got some awesome footage of it. But right now, we're gonna go straight to the tree stand and show you where we we're sitting and then go trail this elk. All right. We're up here. First thing I'm gonna do is show you the elk's view. We're standing on the trail that his bull walked down. So you're gonna see his shot angle. But right now I'm gonna show you the elk's view that he got. Unfortunately, he didn't look up high and right. This is literally where the elk walked. And he's walking, he's minding his own business. He's coming over here. He's like, oh. Wow, this mud looks inviting. Look at it. It's so refreshing. And he gets right here. Whoa. 
he got right here and whack he got hit because James was way up there Yo, I'm literally about to pass out. I stuck him two times. He had a lot of blood coming out. My prayers have been answered, baby. Yes. Oh, oh dude. God, I got so much adrenaline running through me right now. Oh, I'm about to freaking pass out, man. Oh, holy crap. But now we're going to get serious and go put our hands on him. See, boy. Oh, yeah. Y'all on that tree right there? Oh, man. We need, to, we need to just go find him. We don't need a blood trail. It's going to get dark. I'm pretty sure he went this way, guys. So guys, when you see, you'll have already seen my bull. That aspen tree right through there. I'm standing where I shot my bull first. We're also standing where he shot his bull second. With an animal as big as an elk, if you get two shots, take it. Because why not? No need to let the animal suffer any longer than he has to. And no need to let it be a chance that you don't find him. So that's why we shot him twice. All right, let's go find him. I got a little bit of blood up here. Come on. Right here on this leaf. <laughs> Put your hands on him. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo, sweet, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Swing him around here and show us your first archery bull. Heck, your first anytime bull. Yeah. Those are going to be awesome antlers, too. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Thanks, man. Couldn't have done it without you, Gabe. <laughs> and it all started on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's an awesome bull. Whew, man, sweet. You know what the coolest thing is? We can drive the four wheeler right to him. <laughs> all right so we're here hunting pre-rut it's early September 3rd. today's september 3rd they're just now starting to think about rutting when you got a bull like this and you got an elk tag and you only got a couple days to hunt you take him all day long especially with archery they're not bugling they're not herded up really well yet hey we're hunting for meat and we're hunting for antlers we got both now, all three of us. Sam tagged out first, then about 10 minutes later I tagged out, and a day later James tagged out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go get the four-wheeler, I'll be back in a minute. Yep, I hear Gabe coming up the trail with the four-wheeler. Doesn't sound too bad so far. Hopefully it's not like this, getting his out. Unless you go up around. Here we go. All right, y'all, we're here. You've seen people on Hunting Channel like not turn their camera on, record when they made the shot and messed up. Well. I started cooking and forgot to record. We've got elk backstrap, elk steaks, jalapeno poppers, which is just jalapenos, cream cheese wrapped in bacon. I had a marinade, olive oil, soy sauce, simply lemonade, can cooker original seasoning. Let it marinate for two days. This is the bowl that I killed. Gonna get it cooked up. We got inside 
We got baked potatoes, corn on the cob, and we're about to throw down, y'all. I just forgot to show you the beginning. My bad. My bad. Show them down there close. Let them smell it. Golly, can y'all see that, though? We'll see y'all in the kitchen when it's time to eat. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to eat. This is Dick Clinky. I met him, what, eight years ago? A little longer than that. I pulled up into his driveway, have never met him or talked to him in my life. He comes out dirty, been working all day, goes, y'all get in the truck, well, I'm gonna go show you the boundary lines and, and y'all gotta fend for yourselves. We've had a blast since then, haven't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> y'all are gonna see him on multiple videos when we're copy fishing. This, I don't know, about November, when will you be down there? December, so he'll be there in December, December and we'll be ripping lips. Y'all follow Sam. So him and his sister are having an argument who has the most followers on Instagram. Okay. Tell them your Instagram name. Clinky123. Clink, spell it. C-L-Y-N-C-K-E-123. Should we tell them Tessas? So then if we don't tell them Tessas, you'll win. <laughs> <laughs> These are no? some new friends of ours. What's y'all's name? Tim. Adam. Adam. Where y'all from? Carl Springs. They're pipe fitters, y'all. Or what are your pipe, pipe fitters? They're pipe fitters. All right, where's Gary? Oh, y'all had to leave me next to Gary? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You better behave. Y'all, look at these steaks. Oh, jalapeno poppers, corn, baked potatoes. This is Mama Duke's and Clinky. James, James, you got some serious hairlines kicking right now. <laughs> old man. You're not old enough for that. <laughs> Y'all, this is Sam. He's going to be in the how-to video. You're going to see his elk that he killed, how he did it, and everything about that. In the elk video, you're going to see me and James. So Y'all give Sam some love. That was his first time ever going to a tree stand ever on a waller, and he lives here. And with a tree stand, he smoked one. But first, he, called, he texted me. He goes, big bull, big bull. I said, you can't shoot him until you film him for five minutes. He filmed him for seven and then shot him. <laughs> Big thumbs up for that. Were you nervous? Very. He was texting me and his text was coming through shaking, so you know he was nervous. <laughs> oh, you, oh, God, I can't talk anymore. Dad's coming. We need a drum roll, please. Can you smile at least for the camera for a second? <laughs> are we going to have Grace? Yes, we're going to have Grace. Somebody's got to say Grace. You are. You got to hold my hand. <laughs> all right y'all who's saying it you want me to say it yes. yes all right dear lord thank you for this day thank you for all these awesome people and the opportunity to come here to this amazing ranch and hunt and thank you for allowing their harvest to be good this year and thank you for dying on the cross and forgive us of our sins amen amen, amen. amen. it's a great hunt sam's already yeah. tried it what did you think it of it sam it was delicious so I know this is going to be a lot longer video than y'all are used to, but hey, we got two elk and a bunch of good footage. Y'all just going to sit back and enjoy. Two? I thought there were three. Well, yeah, but I'm <laughs> just saying my group. What do you think, Tess? Finally, we got a good answer here. <laughs> Dick, come on. You taste it. Hey, well, I, I haven't even cut it yet. Tastes darn good. Anybody complains about this meal, so cook tomorrow night. That's right. <laughs> come on, James. What you think? Hold on. Have you ever had elk meat? No. Good. Nothing. You got anything you want to say to him about how nervous you were after you shot? And just wait till you see the video. <laughs> <laughs> they all have already seen it at this point. You got something to say? I thought you were going to chime in. I always have something to say. <laughs> all right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that elk video as much as we did making it. This is Sam. You're going to hear about Sam in this video, the How To Elk video. The how-to elk video is going to be mostly him. He's the one that filled that, filmed that bull, come in there wallering like crazy. He made an epic shot. His first ever bow kill. Wait, right? That, you'd never kill anything with your bow. Nope, not His it. first ever bow kill. But he was patient and filmed that bull in the waller so you guys could see it and we could explain why we hunt these wallers. It was his first time ever in a tree stand up on a waller like that. Hey, he made the best of it. I hope you enjoyed the cooking part. Those steaks were great last night. But we've come to an end. We're here at the ranch. It's our last day. We've been off making other shows. I more or less just wanted to stop right here and say thanks for watching. Thanks for all that. Let Sam say a little bit about his new bow and tell y'all how that experience was. Other than that, look at that view, y'all. So now, what about the new bow? Yeah, I'd really like to shout out to Deer Meat for dinner for that bow. That's been probably the best gift I've ever been given. It was really, really, really blessed, and I'm glad to have it. 
Thank you very much. Huge shout out to Bowtech for hooking my brother up with that bow so he could give this bow to Sam. Sam's been, I've been coming here for eight years since Sam was nine years old. We used to go up in the river fishing and now we're hunting and killing together and hopefully for many more years. Got James behind the camera. Y'all are gonna see <laughs> James do an intro to the video we filmed yesterday because I was so scared I couldn't do it. So you're gonna see a ton of James, see a ton of Sam. Just an awesome experience. We've been here for eight days. We're heading home tomorrow morning early. Hey, thank you all for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. We couldn't do it without y'all. But like I always say, every good story comes to an end. And right now, we're fixing to head south to where the humidity is, mosquitoes, heat, warmth, and most importantly, humidity. We out of here.